how do you know how much to do or what to do? Um, and, and we're so, especially at this moment, I mean, for us, the developmental delay diagnosis at the time was devastating. It was incomprehensible. We had this beautiful, perfect angel child who was just full of light and love. And all of a sudden something was wrong. It didn't make any sense. Like there was no, oh, you know, there was a complicated birth or there was no reason why that should have happened. It was incomprehensible. And we at that moment were so um we were so vulnerable that the medical system this like this whole ramp up system here's everything we can do full court press it it was it was incredibly reassuring and seemed like oh yeah okay well if we do all these things then it'll be okay that's like how we've operated our whole life and I think it was a conversation with you, Blythe, and, and Charlie after Hobbs' diagnosis when you talked about listening to Cameron. And that really changed, mm -hmm. I think, how we approached Hav. And all of a sudden, with a little bit of quiet and a little bit of paying attention, it was so clear what she wanted. It was so crystal clear. And... Uh, she never spoke a word, but, but she made it so easy to understand what was best for her. And I think that's something we really lost sight of early, that um, she, she, she was telling us what she wanted the whole time. I think what we heard Hav wanting was to be in someone's arms or on someone's lap who loved her, who she felt could make her comfortable. She wanted to be at home. She loved her room, loved our room, loved the kitchen. Javi loved to eat. Um, and she loved anything with blueberries. She loved pastries. So as she, as her disease progressed and she couldn't eat solid food, we turned everything into a delicious smoothie that was more like a pastry puff in a smoothie. Um, Hav loved the sun and the water, so we got her to the ocean and to beautiful places as much as we could, um, which is both the devastating and very real aspect of living with a child who has a fatal diagnosis because there really were no interventions that she loved that she wanted, that she was telling us, so we could just follow her lead and take her to the best blueberry pancakes and the best Pacific Ocean view. And, um, and that was a gift, yeah, when we learned to listen to that.